Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a project model with physical model effects in Blender using Google OpenStreetMap City models. In this tutorial, we will be able to model our project sites without wasting time with the city models recorded on Google OpenStreetMap. Also, it will look like a physical model using cardboard texture in the model. Begin by downloading the Google OpenStreetMap add-in, thanks to the add-on creator. You can find the download links in the description box. Next, install this add-in into Blender. Let's activate the add-on by uploading the zip file we downloaded into Blender. It appears to be loaded on the interface. Remember to save your work. Let's go to the OpenStreetMap website. Now let's determine the city boundaries of the region we want with the help of the window. This city surrounds Galata, a symbol of Istanbul in Turkey. The coordinates and dimensions of the region can be viewed in the left window. A smaller area will be enough for us. It looks good now. We will paste the coordinates of the selected region into the area provided in the Blender add-on interface. From there, we will automatically import the terrain followed by the buildings into Blender. The model representing the region we've chosen has been successfully imported into the powerful 3D creation tool, Blender. This was accomplished using data from OpenStreetMap, a versatile source of geographical information. Now let's add our project to the site area. In this project, we will incorporate the concept of a futuristic, modular, elevated city structure. We will use elements from the 3D Futuristic City Filler model content to quickly convey ideas. The link is in the description box below. We will also enhance the image by adding elements to depict modular units being brought in by drones. This process allows us to manipulate and visualize the model, offering a unique perspective on the selected region. Let's modify the material of the objects and move them to the project area. To enhance the impression of ongoing construction, we can add a crane.
Finally, let's insert a camera object by pressing Shift and A, which will allow us to adjust our camera angle. Set the current window as the camera view by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and Zero. Let's adjust the camera angle for a better view. Next, let's continue setting up the scene. First, duplicate the camera object. Let's get to the look we want from the other camera angle. Press Ctrl, Alt, and Zero for capture the window camera scene. Let's switch to a different view and begin applying material to the model. We will select the cycle render engine from which we will get the image. 512 is enough for rendering. Let's include some material. For easy application, we'll assign the cardboard material from the Blender Kit add-in. Place the material on the model. As we can see, the material did not fully fit into the model. Next, navigate to the UV editing panel. To scale the material, select the entire model using Ctrl and A and create a smart UV with the shortcut U. Let's scale with the S shortcut when all models are selected. The model should look good at this point. We aim to create a studio environment by adding ambient light to the stage. The link for this is provided in the video description. The downloaded HDRI can be added from the environment texture section in the world panel. The direction of the added HDRI light can be altered using mapping and texture coordinates nodes in the shading panel. The environment looks much better now. We can take a render. Don't forget to leave a comment below for the visual. Let's come to the camera angle by pressing zero on the numpad while the other camera is selected. We will follow the same steps and take a render for our other perspective as well. You can use this method to better explain your project also by taking a site section. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.